ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Teddy, and today I thought I'd do a showdown between the RX 470 and RX 570, both from Gigabyte. Which one is which? Do you guys know? Do I even know? I do know, it says on the back, but still. Point stands, these are the same model from the same company. And yeah, I actually thought about doing a showdown, but then I was like, yeah, these are pretty much exactly the same GPU. So, is there a point? But I did see a point in doing an overclocking test because a lot of people have been saying that the RX 570 and by extension the RX 580 have much better overclocking headroom than the outgoing 470s and 480s. And that's what I thought I would test here today for you guys to see if that's actually true. So this video is gonna be a little bit short and let's just jump into it then. So uh, benchmarking wise, I bench both of these cards against each other in their stock form and the 570 wins by like three FPS. So you're never gonna notice that. So if you're not planning on overclocking either of these cards, I would probably just go with the 470 if you can, if it's cheaper or whatever. Um, because you're not going to notice much difference between them. Other non-reference models have higher clock speeds on the 570, so maybe you'll trend towards that, maybe one of the Sapphire cards or something like that. But let's talk about the uh, overclocking then. We'll start with the 470. So for this, I raised the uh, power limit, obviously all the way up to 50%, and the thermal limit to 90 degrees, so I don't want that cutting in at all. Now, in terms of voltages, I did uh, 1100 on both the core and the memory, I went up to 1150, but it really didn't make much difference. And with that, I managed 1350 megahertz on the core, which seems about standard. A lot of people seem to be getting that. And 1800 megahertz on the memory. So fairly solid overclock there for the 470. But how does the 570 compare? Just gonna look at the back, make sure I get the right card. <laughs> Not that it really matters. Uh, so yeah, once again, 50% power limit, uh, thermal limit raised to 90 degrees. And for this, I did uh, 1150 megahertz on the core. And the memory, I actually didn't need to go over 1000, so I just left it at 1000, it was just fine. With that, I managed 1450 megahertz on the core and 1950 megahertz on the memory. So 100 megahertz higher on the GPU core and 150 megahertz higher on the memory. So that seems to be kind of consistent with what I've been seeing out of a lot of people. Uh, some people managed to get like 1400 out of their 470s, but for the most part it seems like 1350 you'll get out of a 470 and about 1450, uh, maybe you'll get 1500 megahertz if you get a really good one out of the RX 570. What does that translate to? Well, let's jump into the benchmarks and uh, see. So this is done with both of these guys set at those overclocks and let's see how they perform. So we see that translates into a pretty decent win there for the uh, 570, much better than the stock results. We only get about two or three FPS better with the 570 over the 470. So yeah, you're definitely gonna be wanting to overclock one of these guys if you decide to get one. Which brings us now to the conclusion and what do I make of these two cards and is it really worth going for the 500 series? So as I said before, uh, if you're not gonna overclock, I would just go with the 470. You may as well. Um, you know, there's only like two or three FPS in it, at least with these models anyway. So yeah, I'd probably do that. You can get some really good non-reference models 
of the 570 with quite high clock speeds. That sort of went for the 470 also. So you could go there, but I would say mainly uh, if you're an overclocker, I would trend towards like the 570 and 580 because you should be able to get better overclocks out of them uh, and that will translate to some pretty decent gains in gaming. But I want this to be a discussion. So you guys tell me, if you own a RX 470, 480, or 570, or 580, tell me uh, which model of card you have, uh, what overclocks you manage to achieve with it, so the voltages, uh, the core speed, the memory speed, all of that good stuff. And uh, yeah, I want to see what you guys manage to get out of yours. Come on, guys, let's be honest. Don't go crazy and say you got like 1700 megahertz out of it. Um, just tell the truth and uh, let me know also what uh, utility you use to achieve those overclocks because that could be quite interesting for some people out there. But for the most part, for when I was looking, it seemed like 1350 was around about where the 470s like to sit at. And with these 570s, they're looking like they like to sit around the 1450 megahertz mark. But of course, that's just for what I saw and that's why I want you guys to comment down below. Now, I thank you all for watching this video. As always, subscribe to Tech Showdown if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.